Hello everyone, Kyle Turner for NEC Front Row, here to bring you the NEC in 90, presented by Startwire, America's number one job search organizer. To find your dream job, visit startwire.com to sign up for their free service today. <coughs> the Fairleigh Dickinson men's soccer team continued its hot start to the season. The Knights defeated Mac opponent Iona 3-2 on Friday night and is now a perfect 5-0 on the year. Sophomore defender Wojciech Piva Wojciech scored the game-winning goal in the 84th minute to give the Knights their fifth win of non-conference play. FDU is also ranked number 18 in the latest top drawer soccer top 25. The Knights travel to NJIT for a matchup with the Highlanders this Saturday. That game is slated for a 3 p.m. start. The hashtag NECFB on ESPN3 package kicked off this past Saturday. Defending champion St. Francis U defeated Wagner 31-6 to open up conference play. Quarterback Bear Fenimore threw for 293 yards and three touchdowns in the victory, while running back Jameer Jordan Tony racked up 125 yards from scrimmage in the win. Our next NECFB game on ESPN3 will be the CT Civil War between Sacred Heart and Central Connecticut on September 30th at 5 p.m. at Campus Field. <coughs> and in tennis news, Mount St. Mary's men's tennis senior Brandon Wertcotter claimed the number two singles flight title at the Bucknell Fall Invitational. Wertcotter defeated Bucknell's Max McDonald 6-4, 6-4 to capture the second flight championship. And on the women's side, Mount St. Mary's sophomore Alexa Quintanilla captured the top flight singles championship at the Bucknell Women's Tennis Invite this weekend. Quintanilla defeated St. Francis U's Laura Gutierrez 5-7, 6-4, and 10-6 in a tiebreaker. <coughs> That's it for this week's edition of the NEC in 90 presented by Startwire. For NEC Front Row, I'm Kyle Turner, and I'll be back next week.